Paying tribute to Michigan's World War II veterans and all those who contributed to the war effort, that's the goal of a new memorial being planned. And as Joanne Burton tells us tonight, you can be instrumental in making it happen. With painstaking attention to detail, these artisans meticulously mold and sculpt scenes from World War II. There's the soldier in a foxhole reading a letter from home, kids picking milkweed here in Michigan for the purpose of stuffing life vests, and then there's the iconic Rosie the Riveter, named for a woman who worked at the Willow Run Aircraft Factory in Ypsilanti. Michigan has uh, quite the unique story of its uh, role in the war. President Roosevelt referred to Detroit as the great arsenal of democracy because of how much of the automotive industry quickly converted to produce armaments during World War II. And now, all these years later, work is underway on the official Michigan World War II Legacy Memorial that will grace Memorial Park in Royal Oak. These pieces, built in a Detroit art studio, are just a third the size they'll eventually be. In fact, the soldier reading the letter is full size now, cast in bronze. Russell Levine helped design the memorial. His dad served in Europe. The folks who weren't able to travel or who want to show their families and share their stories with their grandchildren will be able to have a place that they can do that. So we have right. a very big sunset clause. This generation of veterans and home front workers are passing away, and we want this built before they are gone. But for this to become a reality, it takes more than a skilled hand and a vision. It takes money. We're hoping that a lot of corporations will step up. Corporations that were interested during the war and aided the war effort then, we want them to aid the war memorial effort now. It's going to take about $4 million to complete and maintain this memorial. If you'd like to help in this effort, head to WXYZ.com for information. I'm Joanne Purton. Happy Veterans Day.